up y'all it's your girl leah love y'all already know what it is and what it do y'all and today y'all see where i'm at oh i guess they see where i'm at too i ain't been here in a little minute but i'm enjoying it y'all so the poetry piece i have today y'all ain't do poetry in so long oh my gosh so long so we have first, uh, finally I set you free. So let's get into it. Finally I set you free. This is me, finally letting you go, letting you be free. This wasn't an easy choice to make, but I know it's something that I must do. My heart dreads the thought of letting you go, but I know to hold on to it causes more pain than comfort. I have to let you go for not only me, but for you too. I don't know if we'll ever come back to one another, but I have to let you go. You were never mine to keep, you were never mine to hold on to. I must let you be free. Liberation is key for you and for me. The only thing that I am entitled to are the memories of you. That's the only thing my mind, body, and soul gets to keep. But I must set you free. They say all good things must come to an end but I believe it's just the beginning. I don't want to hold on to trauma after letting you go because it'll hurt even more. So I let you free from my mind, trapped in Coventry. I let you go, a beautiful butterfly, a sunflower, a daisy. Just like those, I let you go. All right, y'all, so that was Finally I Set You Free. And I'm going to talk about it just a little bit. Just a little bit, y'all. So let's get into it. Okay, y'all. So finally, I set you free. I don't really want to um, talk about much or whatever. But this, um, I seen something. I seen something. I skimmed across something. And it was just like holding you down. Like holding you back. And I was like, okay. Finally, like I was just like letting you go. And. I wrote this for like everyone like this is not even just this not just about like <clears throat> any particular person I just feel like y'all can relate to finally letting you go whether it's like you in a relationship or your family or your friends because we're all human and for some apparent reason y'all we expect us to hold on to people that we should have let go a long time ago it's just like when we choose a path a path for ourselves when in reality that is not the path of which we should be choosing you know what i'm saying nature got its own thing going on today y'all but it's cool so it's just like you know how you in a relationship with your girlfriend or you in a relationship with your boyfriend and you'd be like this my man or this my woman or you know what i'm saying even when y'all get married this is mine this is mine this is mine but <clears throat> she's not your property you do not own her he is not your property he do not you do not own him because when the time come and the time is near we will all have to say goodbye or you know until we meet agree meet again to our loved ones no matter who it is and that goes to show you that that person is not yours and we have to forgive those people that do us wrong that hurt us or whatever it is you know what i'm saying people's not perfect in a relationship and i've heard that uh one of the main keys is forgiveness that's like a that's like a long life um of being in a, being in a relationship i hope y'all don't hear that train but it's just like sometimes you can't get past the hurt and the pain that someone caused you in a relationship and yet you say that that person is yours like that person is mine sometimes you got to sit up there and you got to think and you got to reflect that and you got to learn that that person is not yours they were only given to you to create memories, to cherish those times and to enjoy those people while they were here. And I'ma just say like, for example, my grandma, my grandma wasn't mine to keep, she wasn't mine to hold. 
during the time that she was here all of these years that God blessed her she was never mine but I was entitled to the memories that we shared you know what I'm saying y'all the memories that we created since I was a young girl since I was a baby since I was bought into this world um I'm entitled to those memories and I'm going to keep those memories with me you know what I'm saying I can't say oh why did this happen or like why 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 I can't keep asking why because in reality it was meant to happen it's bound to happen it's going to happen and these people that come in our life they are not ours they are not ours to keep there is not they are not ours to have when they come into our life we ought to be grateful and to create memories we are entitled to memories so finally once we realize that we finally let the person go who we thought were ours like you belong to me when in, in reality no one belongs to anyone you know what i'm saying so finally let that go let them go let that go and the sooner you let them go you will find a little bit more comfort of course it's going to get hard so you're going to have days where you feel like you can't make it and one thing that i learned is that it's not the breakup that's hard it's the trauma behind the breakup meaning okay you break up with your significant other or you break up with your best friend of x and out old amount of years after that breakup it's the memories that like haunt you that haunt you that taunt you it's the memories that carry on like with the trauma that you have to deal with if that makes sense y'all so we must let people go and let them blossom like a beautiful lily like a beautiful butterfly anything that flies and it looks beautiful you to you and it looks so peaceful we have to let them go and y'all that's it um i didn't want to make this too long i just had to come with my come back with my poetry you know what i'm saying so i hope that y'all like this video i hope nothing ain't biting me <laughs> but like i always say don't let nobody knock your joy steal your shine stay on your grind it's your girl leah love it's been real and i'm out peace